What is up everyone? So today I figured I got some cutting boards to make. I got a bunch of stuff that I got to make things easier out here and I'm gonna take you guys along with. So I'm gonna make some cutting boards. Now this is not gonna be a how-to. I'm just gonna kind of make a video of what I do. Walk you through some steps I guess. Not all the way. If you guys want to see a video like that put it in the comments tell me and I'll show you how to do it step by step because that'll be a longer video. <laughs> So I ordered a bunch of stuff. We have 50 cutting boards to make, or well, more, because we got more orders, but we have an order of 50 to make right now. And so I ordered some new stuff. And there's some new clamps I'm gonna try out. So they're bar clamps. See how these work. The uh, ones that I'm using now have a quite the flex on them. So I'm gonna see if these have much of a flex. And if they don't, then I'm gonna go with these for sure. And I like how they're gonna be flat because I currently am using um, the bar clamps These which they're fine, but the bars themselves They're not flat and they got like a, a, a Curve to them. So I don't I don't like them as you can see it is Quite messy Disorganized out here. This was always the room where everything just got kind of Sat down and walked away. Uh, so I did some measurements of this table, of the table saw, and how I'm gonna lay things out. So I'm hoping to get that done. It won't be today, but I gotta get these cutting boards glued up and get started. But I'm gonna start switching some of this stuff around and get this somewhat organized. So when I do cutting boards, it's basically assembly line and I can go and just get them all done right away and move on to the next project instead of trying to weasel around everything it's just kind of slowing me down so and i'm trying to come up with a better gluing station so i gotta start researching on that come up with different ideas i got a couple of ideas in my head but i don't know if they'll work out so and that's the other reason why i got these try them out see if they work if they do they do if they don't they don't so i got to glue up these other cutting boards and get moving. Getting a little full. I better empty it. <laughs> so I got an idea. I'm gonna try out those new clamps. I made a little table out of my chicken plucker box. So I'm gonna try them on here. I'll just do it flat this time and let's see if they work. 
Fingers crossed. See that? Yeah. So far I'm really liking these clamps because they're holding it tight and down. They're not bowing whatsoever. They're working great. So hey. let's, and I got a little helper. You helping me? Yep. Yep. <laughs> I just love how he goes, yep. So I got to glue up, these yeah. are the big ones. I'll glue up some small ones too. All right, so I have all of them glued up. I did four big ones and three small ones. And I like to glue it, like I said earlier, in a whole bunch, all of them together, and then I just cut them in the saw. It's a lot faster, it's a lot easier. As um, far as the clamps go, I am really impressed. This is three of them, and I tighten it down, and I didn't get any warp out of the clamps, where those clamps over there, I would. So I'm super pumped about that. And I got a couple ideas how I'm gonna make that stand. So that'll be for a different day. But for right now, <clears throat> I'm gonna set a timer for an hour. And by then it's gonna be dark out, but I'm gonna come back out and I'm gonna finish these up because we have to wait an hour for the glue, glue to settle. And then I'll come out and then we route it well, I'll show you. So it's been two hours playing with the kids, lost track of time. So let's take these out, see what they look like. Does that feel better? Maybe a boost of energy? <laughs> yeah, the camera died. <laughs> Perfect timing, just getting ready. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna switch my sanding disc over to 100 grit, and I'm gonna sand them all down, just the faces, and maybe sometimes I hit the sides very lightly, but mainly the faces. And then what I do is I get a damp cloth, and we get them all wet, and it makes the, um, grain stand up and then you come back and we'll sand it again with the finish it with the 220 oh looks so good it's like glass
there you go that's done now we gotta wait till they're dry normally about 20 minutes half hour ish come back out it'll be ready to go and then I'll sand them down the last time and then show you the last step all right so now they're all dry so let's switch the sandpaper and get these done I gotta go to bed I like to use these wire nuts for standing them in between so air gets in between there and they dry out and this is mineral oil not agave oil in the raw <laughs> and I like to use the sponge painting brush To apply it on it's really nice it does it pretty evenly because it soaks up in the brush And there you have it, seven cutting boards done. Ready to go out the door in a day. I always wait a full 24 hours to let the oil soak in and you're good to go. So yeah, just wanted to show you guys that. It's hot down here, I am sweating now. It's cold out in the garage and then it's hot down here because of... <laughs> so, all right, well, this is the end of the vlog for today. Kind of just jumped along and showed you. It really doesn't take much time to do the cutting boards. And it's actually, I have a lot of fun doing it. So, yeah. So if you guys like the content, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe down below if you want to see more. Glad you guys see me again. <laughs>